Welcome to the IAA's 2015 General Audit Management Conference Speaker Preview. I'm Shannon Steffi, Senior Editor for Internal Auditor Magazine. Today, I'm talking to Cindy Hook, Senior Vice President and CAE of the Assurance and Advisory Team at Comcast Corps, and one of many industry experts presenting at the 2015 GAM Conference in Las Vegas, Nevada, March 9th through 11th, 2015, at the Aria Resort and Casino. Cindy oversees all internal audit staff, risk management, and the performance of financial, operational, and systems audits, among other responsibilities. She was recently named to the Cablefax's 2013 Most Powerful Women in Cable. Before joining Comcast, Cindy spent 12 years at Dell Inc., where she served as the Vice President of Global Audit and Transformation. Her GAM presentation, called Getting a Seat at the Table, Case Studies on Successful Integration of Acquired Businesses, will take place on Tuesday, March 10, 2015, from 2 to 3 p.m. Hi, Cindy. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. I'm excited to be here and to be speaking at the conference. Can you explain internal audit's role in integrating acquired businesses? Sure. And, you know, I think the role, it varies depending on the size of the acquired business and the nature of that business. But we play a pretty pivotal role really in all phases from assessment of the acquisition to planning the ex acquisition and then actually executing integration of the acquisition. And this can take the form of due diligence integration planning prior to the closure of the deal. And then once the deal actually closes, executing the integration. And then, you know, post stabilization, um, post mortem and tracking type of activities. So examples, like I already mentioned, would be due diligence activity kind of early on in a deal. Um, assessing from an internal audit perspective, assessing risk and developing what your audit plan is gonna be you know, which can be different in the initial days um, after the acquisition compared to when you're in more of a stable mode. Um, but then there's a lot of things that we do that support the business directly related to the acquisition. So that can be participating in the integration PMO um, and playing an active role in project management. It can be doing things like financial reporting work, such as carve outs. Um, and then there's also activities around synergy, synergy planning, synergy tracking, synergy analysis. Um, so it really kind of, you know, spans the gamut. Um, but those are the types of things that, uh, from an internal audit perspective, that we've done to be really involved in our many acquisitions. Why is it so important for internal auditors to build credibility and how can they go about doing that? Okay. Well, I mean, I think it's, it's, you know, kind of obvious that strong, having a strong brand and having credibility is really important to having a seat at the table. Um, and the credibility, it's a little bit circular because once you kind of get that initial seat at the table, building credibility and keeping credibility is really critical to maintaining that seat at the table. Um, you know, and some of the ways that we go about doing that, it's really, to me, kind of three elements. One, you have to have the right mix of skills on your team. Um, I think you have to have a good understanding of where you can and can't add value. Um, you know, obviously you build a lot of credibility when you engage in areas where you can add a lot of va value. Um, sometimes we get overzealous and try to engage in areas where we don't have the right skills on the team and therefore we can't add value and that will, you know, quickly erode your credibility. So I think that's important. And then the third piece is just being flexible and available. Um, you know, acquisitions don't always come at a convenient time. And so you've got to maintain on an ongoing basis some flexibility in your resource base to be able to respond when an acquisition happens. You mentioned skills in your last answer. What are some of the skills you feel internal auditors should possess? Okay. Um, well, I mean, I think there's, there's things that are, are tickets to entry. Um, such as being a high integrity person and having a certain amount of you know, intellectual capability. But we like to think about um, the skills that we look for in our team, um, what we call the C's. And so we look for folks that are really curious, um, you know, which leads to that peeling back the onion, root cause analysis, uh, wanting to get things done right. Um, obviously we need people that are really good communicators. Um, and whether that's oral communication and then written communication is, is really important. Um, we want folks that are confident. Um, oftentimes, you know, if you're just looking at who you're interacting with, you can be outmatched from a level perspective 
pretty significantly. So you got to be confident and not be afraid of that. Um, I think there's a certain amount of courage to be able to call a spade a spade um, and that we look for uh, in our team. And then the last piece that's really important, especially when we're doing things like integrations of acquisitions, working with cross-functional teams on acquisitions is the ability to collaborate. So and the C's are curiosity, communication, confidence, collaboration, and courage. So what do you feel is the most important takeaway from your presentation? Um, well, I mean, there's a lot of things I want to share with the audience about our experience with integrations um, of acquisitions and planning of acquisitions, but there's probably three main um, takeaways that I'll talk about. One is, you know, what are the tactics of getting upfront involvement? And that kind of includes, you know, building credibility, being available and flexible. Um, the other element is determining the right scope and the right places to engage, which is making sure that you pick the areas where you can add value and where you can contribute the most, which helps with you know, that building of credibility. And then the third element is just keeping the right skill sets on the team and making sure that um, you've, got, you've got the folks that will help you to be able to execute the scope and to do a good job, which again, will allow you to continue to build and maintain credibility. Well, thank you, Cindy. We appreciate you taking the time to talk to us today about your GAM presentation. We'll see you in Vegas.